Hi viewers, I'm very happy to see you today. And today we have a we are blessed today, and we have an eminent person with us. And I'm going to have a small interview with him. And today I'm going to bring to you as about a small um, simulation software. An expert is with us. Hi sir, how are you? Fine, good, fine. Yeah. Um, um, he's from uh, IIT, IIT Pravatak, Dr. Shankar sir, and he is one of the user of. Uh, this a particular software which we are going to discuss about. I said, how do you feel, right? You know, the my first question is like, no, first of all, I'm very, very happy to be with you and I'm very much uh, thankful for that. Um, my first question is, what is the today's trend? You know, people are always talking about like uh, um, digital India and we are moving forward to the digital era. And very much, you know, particularly engineering students are focused on uh, like, you know, IT oriented. Uh, jobs or IT oriented thinking and thought process. What about the core value and what's the trend towards the core? Uh, okay. See, the IT, as far as I'm concerned, it's a private business. IT is supporting It's a huge domain. And in that domain, if you want to either be automate or you, know, you want to reach the next level in that domain, then you can use IT. That is the idea behind IT. See, uh, you, you have specialization in all the subjects, okay, electrical engineering, electronics, or mechanical engineering. Even these are the subjects, subjects that we talk about in engineering. But then IT is, I would say, it's a sort of ancillary which supplements whatever you are learning. Okay? And uh, one of the advantages is that in those days, okay, people had to do things practically and that kind of thing. Yeah. Whereas today, and doing effectively has a lot of problems. Lots of you know, cost, cost it more. For example, if I want to crash a car and just how it behaves, one car is lost. Okay. Okay. So, this is more IT use. Okay. With IT, you can do simulation and then study about the crash impact of the crash. How you can save human property in life. Okay. That is the beauty of integrating IT with the core IT. IT helps and you know today what is happening many of the engineering students take IT as a you know for example I know Java, I know Python, okay, is it enough? Yeah, yeah, of course, that was, that was, uh, it is enough, that's what my question is. This is not enough, see you should have a domain knowledge and on top of it you should also have an IT. But this is also similar for domains like data systems. You can learn data centers, not a deep one, that is the core problem you are going to tackle that comes from one of the core engineers. Okay, for example, it's a healthcare technology. Okay. Okay, or industrial product, how to optimize your product. Okay, optimization yeah. point. In fact, there are certain problems where uh, we have seen that customers come to us and ask, see, I have a production line in Thailand, I have a production line in Europe. Okay, but if I manufacture use that component in India, you know, I am facing these problems. So, can you identify where should I actually import these items from? Yeah. Because see, you know, you can import items from Thailand and you can import it from Europe. Now, what happens if the import cost of Thailand is less and the import cost is more? But the components that you get from Europe are longer than the components. These kind of problems they want to solve. Okay. Now here, you should also have a knowledge about you know, geography. No, I am not talking about geography, but more okay. What is the climate or weather condition that makes that? process much more better than this. Okay, so today's engineering students just by doing IT, they are not going to solve it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's what that's what yeah, the final final line. Like, yeah, that, 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 that's it. Yes. They must have a domain knowledge and they must know some of these tools. And then you know, substitute with IT you get a great combination. Okay. If, if that is the case, now what what is the, the best tool that you have never came came across for now? Okay, at least I know see, we are, you know, Prabhatak and the GIS, so we are funding a lot of startup companies. Okay. And we have seen that many of these companies use ANSYS based. ANSYS based, yes. Uh, because we, I'm, uh, we are placed in IIT research project. Yeah. Whatever company is involved, I first ask them, and what is the simulation tool to use? The first thing they say is, yes, sir, we use ANSYS. Few also say about AutoCAD and things like that. But ANSYS has been used by many of the companies that I have talked because they are into some deep tech areas and uh, I, I, I may not mention some of the companies these because it's not okay wait of course then uh, these companies actually are into space and other things they use ancestry okay 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 
ಅಂದರೆ ಐ ಎನ್ ಸಿಮ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಐ ಎನ್ ಸಿಮ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಆಸ್ ಐ ಐ ಟಿ ಪ್ರವರ್ತಕನು ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಐ ಟಿ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟು ದಿ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಗ್ರಾಜ್ಯುಯೇಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ರಿಸರ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಐ ಟಿ ಪ್ರವರ್ತಕ ಅಂದ ಟೆಕ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ರಿಸರ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಸಿ ಐ ಐ ಟಿ ನೌ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ರೀಚ್ ಔಟ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೊಸೈಟಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಐ ಟಿ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಕನ್ಫೈಂಡ್
ANSYS has uh, come up with uh, uh, many simulation softwares uh, in almost all fields like uh, mechanical, civil, uh, thermodynamics, fluid dynamics, uh, electromagnetics and so on. Uh, being uh, electronics and communication engineering uh, professor, um, uh, we used to work with um, HFSS software and in KIT, uh, I am happy to uh, uh, mention that uh, we have recently set up a 5G communication lab under uh, uh, EC department and uh, recently we got one um, AICT RTS funded project um, uh, working about uh, 25 lakhs and in this regard I would like to uh, record my sincere uh, thanks to uh, the founder chairperson Thiru uh, Palmisami sir and uh, the uh, vice chairperson madam Mrs. For their constant support, and uh, <coughs> we have purchased HFS software from ANSYS uh, company. And uh, the title of this uh, ACT RPS funded project is uh, Design, Simulation, Fabrication, and Testing of Micro Strip Patch Antenna for Biomedical Application. Uh, actually, as you know, antenna uh, is the vital element in uh, any communication system. And it is basically meant for uh, transmitting and receiving uh, data in a communication system. Uh, and the uh, main uh, uh, objective of uh, this antenna uh, is, uh, I mean, meant for biomedical application, especially um, uh, to uh, detect uh, patient parameters of uh, uh, elder, elder uh, uh, persons who uh, find it difficult to travel to hospitals as well as uh, the COVID patients. So, uh, the type of antenna that we intend to design uh, is uh, like a wearable antenna as well as um, uh, implantable antenna. Wearable in the sense uh, they can comfortably wear it uh, on the wrist, leg, chest, shoulder, wherever uh, um, uh, there is a need. And uh, <clears throat> uh, implantable means they, ca they can implant it inside the human body uh, to detect uh, the human uh, Patient parameters like uh, uh, temperature, uh, uh, pressure, uh, oxygen level, uh, heart rate, um, uh, breathing um, uh, rate, um, all these uh, vital uh, um, uh, patient parameters, and then it will be transmitted to the um, uh, doctors uh, who stay away from, uh, uh, who stay uh, remotely. They used to check all these parameters and then they decide whether. Everything is quite normal or not. So, so if it is abnormal, they may immediately call uh, attending patients. And um, uh, we need to accordingly choose materials. In the case of uh, um, wearable antenna, the materials need to be flexible, very flexible. Actually, basically, there are three parts of uh, the microscope pattern antenna. Uh, number one is um, uh, ground plane, then substrate, then tax. Then we will be uh, uh, giving some feed. So, all these things, these three basic elements need to be uh, flexible. And in case of uh, implantable, uh, they need to be bio uh, uh, degradable or bio compact. Okay. So, uh, this is the objective of our ASP project. And the project is going on. I hope uh, to be able to successfully complete the presentation. I was very happy to hear that you, know, you are using you are ready to know, uh, serve the uh, society with the real time uh, product which is going to be which is, which is like wearable uh, to the public and that even that is in the corona period but I can come across with a good idea. Yeah. How do you feel that this particular ANSYS software when you are when you are using this particular software how do you feel that whether it is really working or uh, what kind of the sim when you are doing simulations any kind of simulations how this particular simulation results is going to vary to the real time Data. And how do you feel about this software? Yeah, actually, before um, uh, going the uh, hardware uh, prototype, um, uh, we need to justify uh, whether uh, the uh, results can be uh, exactly, I mean, um, achieved using uh, the uh, hardware. So um, uh, uh, before that, uh, it is recommended to it is recommended to go for simulation. So um, uh, for that purpose, we feel very comfortable and it is. Uh, uh, very efficient um, uh, using this XFS software uh, for simulation of uh, uh, these uh, performance of these uh, uh, wearable and implantable. 
that's that's really happy to hear sir um being an electronics and communication professor so i like to ask you one more question now no i am coming across a lot of uh, young budding engineers they are simply going and they are tracking with some they are learning some kind of coding or what we call as python or any any other kind of software and they are easily landing up in some kind of software companies in that case what you would like to suggest to the public or to the students and what kind of software or what kind of skill set particularly as students must learn to land himself or herself in a core industry and our day see everyone is uh, rushing uh, to it field so they are uh, c c it uh is this is then now uh, uh, it's uh, appropriate uh, i mean uh, uh, learning some uh, 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 demanding uh, programming languages and uh, uh, doing some uh, uh, good real time projects and then uh, they can enter into the it field but uh, being in other circuit branches like uh, ec and tpd it's advisable to uh, I mean, learn some good um, simulation software Uh, okay, uh, and then um, uh, they are good in um, such simulations of, for example, MATLAB, uh, HFSS, um, uh, something like that. Then it will be very easier to uh, get into core companies. So I suggest uh, um, engineers from ECE, EEE, okay, better try to I mean get well versed in a particular simulation software, and then uh, try to I mean get into core companies. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your nice time, and I, I hope I, I I given something to the public that you know you have to learn a lot of skills like not only a software oriented skills but still a simulation software like ANSYS can be used. And if you if you if you enhance yourself with these skill sets, I hope you have a lot of opportunities in the core uh, department too. I hope for the best, and thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, sir.